Hello everyone and greetings to my women lift tribe. I'm Dr. Shachi Adyantaya. I'm the portfolio manager for child health and development at SIF India. It is wonderful to be with you here today and share a snapshot of my women lift leadership project using AI to empower anganwadi workers. My project is embedded within a larger vision to design and pilot an AI model for anthropometry or growth monitoring for children that can translate a video or an image into height and weight. Let me start off by sharing a little background. An Anganwadi worker is a frontline worker. She works in a childcare center and caters to children from the age of 6 to 59 months. In India, 1.3 million frontline workers conduct growth measurements of approximately 57 million children per month. Of these, around 860,000 frontline workers have now received entry-level smartphones provided by the government, and they have access to the existing government IT platform. According to the WHO, accurate growth monitoring with appropriate nutrition counseling and care is the effective and economical method to reduce malnutrition. However, frontline workers do face multiple challenges in collecting accurate growth data and finding the time to provide nutrition counseling. Let's have a look at these challenges. Currently, there are four instruments required for anthropometry. Frontline workers take a minimum of 10 minutes for growth measurements. The literature review shows that errors range anywhere from 10 to 50% and are due to manual entry, which is leading to human error, device and device usage error, where instruments may be missing or not working or not calibrated, and errors due to lack of training and lack of motivation. All this can lead to frontline workers potentially misdiagnosing a child, and most importantly, having no time to provide that essential counseling and care advice. Through the proposed solution, instead of four instruments, we'd have one mobile phone. The time taken would reduce to two minutes, Human error would reduce because of automa automated updation. Data sets would be digitized. The application would give real-time feedback to frontline workers to make required corrections in capturing measurements and motivation would increase. This pilot would produce a fit-for-purpose technology for growth monitoring, which would improve capacity, reduce errors, and aid in efficient decision-making. The keys to success in this project start with early government engagement and buy-in. Safeguarding and data security also need to be embedded in the project design. The technology will need to achieve a desired level of accuracy and incorporate feedback from the end user, in this case, the frontline worker. The right partner needs to be chosen, who has done this before and is willing to create an open source product which is aimed at the greater good. And finally, the technical advisory group should be composed of the right experts whose opinions are respected by the government. The progress I've made so far is that SIF's investment committee has thoroughly reviewed and approved this proof of concept in July last year. A partner has been selected who meets the required criteria. Government meetings have been initiated and letters of support from, relative, uh, from uh, relevant national and state government departments are underway. The data collection protocol has been finalized, agencies have been selected, and safeguarding training for relevant staff has been completed. And also the required regulatory board approvals for initiating the study have been received. The technical advisory group has also been finalized. Looking at my journey, helping develop this project has given me the opportunity to interact more with my leadership team. The project will also increase my prospect of working closely with ministry representatives, as well as with global nutrition and technology experts. And despite hurdles faced in getting this uh, project underway, it's, it's taught me to never give up. The pilot, which is planned, is planned in geographies which have the highest burden of vulnerable populations and is designed with a collaborative approach, ensuring input from all stakeholders, including frontline workers. Additionally, this project aligns with my passion to bring women of all socioeconomic strata into the tech revolution. While developing the project, I also completed a course with Harvard on AI in healthcare. This project is aligned with SIF's overarching strategy to ensure access to treatment for children with malnutrition. And it's also aligned with the government's nutrition strengthening goals. Further, I'm coordinating with and guiding the grantee in project implementation and helping them address ro roadblocks with proposed solutions. If successful, the project will empower frontline workers to use technology to showcase their efficiency and use their time effectively. I've also had the chance to guide and mentor new team members as well as communicate effectively and bring on board non-program colleagues. I'd like to end here with emphasizing that this past year's journey has made me more aware, more present, and more intentional in my professional space. I've gained a deeper understanding of what I need to do to get where I want to be. 
I'm really thankful to be part of an endeavor that encourages more women in the decision making space because if it's about us but without us it's not for us thank you so much for listening to me today